Hey everyone, Paul Fink here, the Maverick Millionaire, and this is Maverick Mondays, and we are now at our new time, two o'clock, and so excited because it's the middle of the afternoon and we're able to talk and hang out and be real, which is the topic of conversation here today. What does that mean? Be real, be authentic. Well, I'll tell you, I actually changed my shirt. Wait, you'll see. I changed my shirt for the show today. Do you need to know that? This is my marketing shirt. Do it different. It's the marketing brand of my company. So is that what I need to be telling you? Oh, I actually put extra gel just before this show. And I, I didn't get a haircut. My hair is a little bit longer than usual. I didn't get a haircut this weekend because I was busy. And do you need to know all this? This is what people say is being authentic and real. And absolutely, you do that. Otherwise, you are not being the true person you should be. Being authentic and real, it's such the mantra these days. I hear it almost every time I look at a presentation, every time I go to an event, people are talking about being authentic and real. And I I started thinking about what does that really mean? And all too often, and I want real feedback, you can absolutely comment below, absolutely give me some of your feedback right here so that you can tell me what is going on in your head, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your world. What's authentic these days? What does it mean? I have so many people where authenticity is all about, oh my gosh, I've got to tell the absolute truth. Okay, there's a whole lot of your life and there's a whole lot of my life that you don't need to know. Like, did I change this morning? Did I, how did I brush my teeth or pick the, the meat out of my back molar? You don't need to know the details of that. Although in telling you that, I'd be completely authentic. What is it? What does it mean? I see on Facebook, people talk about being authentic. People just and, and talk about what's going on in their world. We're going to get to all that. Right now, I want you to absolutely comment, say hi. It's a pleasure seeing everybody there. Hey, Vicki, what's going on? Uh, got a couple people and um, Lee's here and Dom's here. Um, connection is bad. I'll be right back. Good to hear. Uh, so absolutely, we're talking, this is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and we're talking about being authentic, uh, authenticity, being real. It's, it's a mantra everywhere that you look. I actually looked it up and want to make sure, and if all of you can uh, hear me right, I've got a microphone here and I'm believing that it is picking me up properly. So if you hear me right, go ahead and uh, say, yes, I hear you. Awesome. Um, so authenticity, I started looking it up. Now, authenticity is the act of being true, the act of being real. All makes sense. Uh, being, being genuine, conforming to the basis of fact, not being false. These are the true definitions of authenticity. Does that mean authenticity is telling you the worst of the worst, telling you everything that my world and and the the bad stuff, everything the the the, the worst horror I can think of? That's what I want to tell you. And when I do, I'm applauded and said, "Now you're being authentic." Indeed, Lee. Uh, awesome. Uh, reception isn't streaming well. Uh, sorry to hear that. We will uh, continue to reach out and make sure. Having a challenge with reception, want to make sure that I, it's not on my end, that it's on your end. They pull all new time, but the challenge is an intermittent connection. Hmm. You know what? I may have to move a little bit. I'm hanging out in my outside office and every so often intermittent connection, especially when we're streaming. So I'm going to test it out and see that maybe, maybe, maybe I need to move a little bit. What do you think? Uh, let's test it out. I'll actually move. So isn't this being authentic? This is the theme of what we're talking about. 
it's absolutely taking a travel around and seeing if the reception gets any better on the far side of my deck here. Let's see if we're a little bit better in reception here. Some feedback, guys, how are we doing? Any better? Awesome. We're gonna continue from here no matter what and see how it goes. So being authentic, what does that mean for all of you? Uh, I see people that, well, they say being authentic is all about, um, my streaming is breaking up. Sorry to hear that. And I'm going to uh, continue to test out my models and see if that works. Being authentic, all too many people think that it is telling you the worst of the worst. And when I do, all my horrors, all my fears, everything that's going on internally as far as the worst of the worst. And then when I do, that's when I'm being authentic. And that's when you should all stand up and applaud me. And that's what we see over and over again when we are looking at social media, we're looking at Facebook and Instagram. And we see the, these, these stories of, oh man, you know, I messed up here, I messed up there, I feel so bad about myself, I'm struggling, I'm, I'm, I'm broke, um, I've got broken relationships, I've got broken marriages, I've got broken finances, and, and I'm just broken inside and demoralized, de-incentivized. And then everyone stands up and applauds these people as if they've done something great. The challenge is, is that what about the people that actually are happy, successful, are doing well when they say that? Are they still received in the same light of the applause? Or are they condemned? Oh, no, no. There, there must be something that we're not hearing. There must be something that we're not seeing. You must not be authentic because you haven't told us any good dirt. You haven't told us any good grime, anything that we could really hold on to to go, oh man, that sucks. So what's the real case going on? It's telling the truth. Now I will tell you, telling you, you know, um, about my bowel movement, maybe the truth. Although is that really what you want to hear? However, I, I watch people do the basically the same thing. They tell you about some of the, the crap that's going on in their life and that's the truth. So then they get applauded. Is that really effective? Is that what our human nature and our human cause is all about? You know, as long as we're being truthful, then it's great. Well, let me, what about the, the rest of the story? For instance, um, there's this concept called, you know, what we put out there, you get back. There's the concept of the secret that came out a few years back and everyone applauded the secret as understanding that, that when you want something and you visualize it and you put it out there in, in verbal as well as mental energy that it arrives in your life. But it's not truthful, it's a, it's a lie, according to the authenticity police, that the concept of fake it till you make it is now being villainized, if you will. That, no, 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 that you're just lying. But isn't that what visualization is all about? Visualizing a possibility that isn't in reality yet. And when you visualize, then it comes true. Everything I've studied and everything I've taught is centered on that concept, that what you put out there, you get back. That when you believe, you can create it in reality. How does that fit with being authentic? What do you think, everyone? There's stops and starts, there, there's, there's shifts. The, the challenge is, is that we've become imbalanced in this process that that people believe that when you're telling great things when you're inspiring people when you're when you're selling them selling them on a concept of a better world that you must be lying 
because it's not true yet. It's not the way it is right now. So it must be a lie. Thus, you're not being authentic because you're looking to sell me on this vision that isn't true yet. However, they don't put the word yet at the end. They just say, that's not true. So how could you be saying it? Because the human condition is such that what we program and what we register internally does create. How about this scenario? Does positive energy and positive belief create a motivation and an inspiration internally to continue to move forward? Do you, are you more effective when you're happy, positive, believe in a great future? Do you create more? Do you do more? Do you drive more? The answer is yes. We've seen it over and over again. We've proven that. There was a concept, self-fulfilling prophecy. It was back in 1948 is when it first came to fruition. The term was coined. And it's been studied over and over and over again. The concept of what you believe is true, you then create behavior that causes it to happen in reality, causes it to happen in actuality. So the belief creates the outcome. And they've studied this in a lot of different ways. Only imagine that what you believe and what you say and what you, what, what you uh, speak and, and think, all that creates a reality. Oh, but wait a second, that's not authentic. Good, it hasn't happened yet. So I'm speaking into, I'm speaking about things that haven't happened, so I'm actually lying. And that's how this whole authenticity thing is being translated in the public, in the world, if you will, in our social media. And I'm here to, to draw a bright light on it and to say, caution, watch out. There's a trick here. There's a challenge in our society because the positiveness of belief, of inspiration, of motivation, of putting out a vision that is so great that it's unbelievable, that's called lying. That's called not being authentic. How could you have a smile on your face all the time? Things can't be that good. Oh, so I should have a frown. And what I put out there, I get back. So as I frown, I frown. I get more frowns in my life. Or as I smile, I get more smiles in my life. Which life do you want? I challenge you to be aware that this concept can be twisted and, and deformed, if you will, and can help stop you from creating the greatness that is inside of you. So this concept of, well, let's talk about it, self-fulfilling prophecy. What you put out there, you get back. Fake it till you make it. That really drives some, some the, of the of the authenticity crowd insane. Fake it till you make it means build it up internally and exhibit it and then it will come true. You walk into a room and you are, you know, Eeyore, you're not gonna attract a lot of powerhouse people that are going to move you and help you and shake you. You walk into the room with a smile and a positive energy, you're going to attract much more in your life. That's the, the challenge. What if I'm not feeling it? Or better yet, this is what I hear. And of course, everyone comment, and I've been talking a lot about all this. It absolutely, absolutely is. Uh, uh, some of the things that I'm really passionate about is this concept of, uh, of the positive energy. It's fascinating. I was doing some marketing uh, a while back with a company, and I was giving them some marketing materials. And some of it is about my family and I've got the wonderful relationship with my wife and I've got six just amazing children and I sent her pictures and I got back the message, you know, could we have some pictures that weren't, aren't quite as nice, aren't quite as good. Things just look too perfect in your world. I hate to tell you, but they kind of are. 
Like my kids are great kids. They accomplish great things. They achieve amazing results and we have a loving relationship. I talk about that and it must be false. It must be phony. I'm not being authentic because there, there's got to be something wrong. I just celebrated Father's Day and man, I got some cards and some messages from my children that made me cry. Uh, just they were so, so profound and so gracious and, and thankful for the life that they have and the father that I am to them. And it was so rewarding to hear that. I, I almost hesitated. And I, was, I was going to read some of them, and I may post some of them later. And because the hesitation is, oh, no, it's too good to be true. Oh, no, no, I must be lying. Because they, they couldn't have written these things. They're teenagers. No, 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 that, that, that's not right. They, they couldn't be saying these things. You must be having a difficult time because... You had to haul those teenagers last several years. No, we didn't have those challenges that other people talk about. I believe that that had everything to do with the concepts of what you put out there, you get back, the expectations that we set for all of us, what we, how we live, the, the, the communication factor involved in our lives and being able to talk and talk real. But not talk about the vomit in our world, but talk about what could be great. How can we live up to something that is amazing? How can we create the world we really want? It's the message of all, all my training, uh, of my coaching. Design life, meaning plan it out. Literally design the life you want. And then let's put in the step-by-step -step process to make it happen in your world. This is how it's done. So authenticity. Is it about saying the worst? About really just drudging up everything you could imagine to say to somebody where you're not holding back? Or is it about believing, creating a belief internally and expressing the belief of what could? the belief of, of a vision and a future that is empowering. For all of you, I want you to comment, what's authenticity to you? What would be the belief systems that you would want to live every day? Is it about sharing the worst of, of your world because then you'd be seen as authentic? Or is it creating the world that you then share? To shift, there's a difference. It's a paradigm shift for some of you. Tell me what you think, your thoughts on all of this. This is really key. And again, became a uh, interrupting sporadically. Apologize for the interruptions. Uh, we will see what we can be doing ongoing with that uh, in our world. Amazing sauce, Paul. Thank you, Lee. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Have to listen to recording later. Stream is breaking up. Ciao for now. That is too bad. And apparently that's happening with a couple of you. I'm going to check my uh, data and stats after I get off here. It's not something that we can do while we're still live. Only realize uh, this is a profound message that I'm going to be continuing to talk about because it's so important. We create the vision, we create the dream, we create what we want. To translate, to speak into the universe what has been or what is when it's not what you want. All too many people get applauded for that and yet it's not serving them or serving our society when that is the, and it's not that we shouldn't or can't ever, it's that the challenge is that that has become the mainstay of our communication, the cornerstone of every of all the communication that's out there versus what it should be is a footnote. And the real communication should be what could we be doing? What can our world look like? What does the future hold for us? And I guarantee you our future is not doom and gloom. I guarantee you the world is not coming to an end. I guarantee you 
that the future is bright. We've created more in our world in the last 50 years than we did in the previous 300. Watch what happens in the next 50 years. Watch what happens in, in, in just the connectivity, the knowledge base, the information that we're able to bring to the table and the connectivity worldwide and I'll predict universal, universal long, just light years past this particular world and this globe, what we're going to discover in the universe over the next 50, over the next 100. We've only just begun. That's excitement. That's passion. That's being authentic about what could be. Be real, yes. Be truthful, yes. Truthful, though, does not mean telling everything. It means speaking into the universe what you want and what is going to serve you and the people that you're communicating to. Be aware of all that. Look forward to, to coming back to that conversation more and more. Absolutely communicate here, talk more here. Uh, give me some more of your feedback, especially on replay, and let's, uh, let's continue this forevermore. Authenticity being real. This is Paul Fink being real with the concept that it is about the future and the vision more so than what I had for breakfast this morning. So that is the realism for all of you. Look forward to talking to you and seeing you all real soon. This is Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and this is Maverick Mondays. Talk to you soon, everyone. Bye now.